Yo, what's up everyone? This is Jesus from Everything Nerdy Assemble here on YouTube and today I wanted to show everyone the new gameplay trailer to Wolfenstein Youngblood. This is the sequel to the new Colossus. Let's take a look. As you can see, it takes place in New Paris in the 1980s. So much worse than I thought. Helps laugh at the Nazis out of Paris, just like Daddy did back home. No phone calls, no letters. He just... Here is BJ Blackabits. I don't know how to really say Black Blackabits. He is. The main character of the Wolfenstein series, he was in Wolfenstein, The New Order, Wolfenstein, The New Colossus, and I forgot the name of the other Wolfenstein. He is the main character. These two ladies here on the on the left side of the screen they were in the new Colossus. That was the previous Wolfenstein game. The first lady on the left side was introduced in the new Colossus. The lady on the right side was in Wolfenstein the new order. Here she is. She used to have a totally different look. And she looks much older. Also, she looks way older. She is BJ's love interest. you can see BJ's two young daughters to the to the right side and the young lady on the left side she might be the other lady's daughter that I showed you <clears throat> Their names are Jess <clears throat> Blaskowitz and Sof Blaskowitz. It's really hard to say the last name. Let me show you something. This suit here was previously introduced in the new Colossus. BJ wore it for a large more majority of the game it's a really cool suit as you will see and yes the daughters are fucking crazy i love that now let's take a look at some gameplay i'm gonna try to slow it down a little bit i was going too quick There's one of the weapons, a pickaxe, right to the head. Wanted for murder, resisting arrest, and conspiracy. The enemies look really different than the enemies in the New Order, the New Colossus, 
and new blood. Inciting insurrection, possession of contraband. Here's one of the weapons. Crimes against the Reich. Yeah, the gameplay is looking fucking incredible. I can't wait for this game. <laughs> I love his two daughters. They are so fucking cool. And listen to this fucking dope music here. As you can see, it's releasing on PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and the Switch. July 26th of this year. And if you pre-order, you get these two cool suits to the right. Plus, one, two, three, four, five, seven weapons. There will be a deluxe edition, which in includes the Buddy Pass. Invite a friend, they play for free. Plus, Cyborg Skin to the right. Which looks fucking awesome. I love the fact they also give you a buddy pass so you can play with another friend for free. They don't have to own the copy, all they have to do is give them the buddy pass and they could join you in co op. Now let's take a look. information about the game so Wolfenstein Young Blood revolutions are better with friends BJ Black Blaskowitz has gone missing in Paris and it's up to his twin daughters Jess and Soph to track him down Wolfenstein Young Blood dro drops you into 80s Nazi occupied Paris <clears throat> and for the first time in the series you'll be able to explore the world of Wolfenstein and wreck Nazis with a partner, which is very fucking cool. This is the first Wolfenstein that has co-op. There's just two daughters right here. BJ Blaskowitz has gone missing in Paris, and it's up to his twin daughters Jess and Soph to track him down. Wolfenstein Youngblood drops you into 80s Nazi occupied Paris. Get your first look at the cooperative gameplay, okay. That's what we just watched. The City of Lights and Blood. Jess and Soph Blackowitz will stop at nothing to find their father. And that includes taking on the Nazi forces in Paris, France. Establish your home base deep in the Paris Parisian catacombs. And tackle missions in any order you want. Team up with a friend or play with an AI companion and obliterate the Nazi regime. I love the fact that if you don't have nobody to play with, you can play with the AI, the artificial intelligence, which, which basically means the other character will be controlled by computer programming that the developers created. Along with the newly added co-op system, Youngblood features some newly added RPG elements. Explore Paris and take on the Nazis to level up and unlock new abilities, weapon attachments, gadgets, cosmetics, and more. That is also new to the series, cosmetics, and I believe the attachments also. 
you have access to updated and improved new Colossus weapons like the <clears throat> Diesel Craftwork Shock Hammer, now called the Kuo Wig Laser Craftwork and more and you'll be, a, you'll be able to tear through the faces hordes with a number of new weapons like the iconic Machine Pistol and the devastatingly powerful <clears throat> Electro Craft work. Tale of Two Studios. On its face, Youngblood tells the story of two sisters, but behind the scenes, it also tells the story of two sister studios. Machine Games has partnered with the creative talents at Arcane Studios in line to bring you the latest installment in the series. <clears throat> this opportunity to co develop our next installment of the Wolfenstein series with Arcane Studios in Lion. It's a great example of how we can be stronger as part of the Cinemax family, says Jerk Gustafsson, Game Director of Machine Games. This collaboration and sharing of our respective expertise has not only resulted in a truly great and completely new Wolfenstein experience, but it has also brought our two studios closer together in a friendship that will be of tremendous value in our continuous efforts to craft beautiful, original, and fun video games. Arcane is working on a number of exciting projects, continues Tinga Bakaba, game director at Arcane Studios and Lion. But when we got this opportunity to join forces with our machine games friends on Young Blood, we were thrilled. It's been an honor to help realize this vision of two sisters fighting back against a faces regime in the streets of 1980s Paris. This has also been a unique chance to bring an arcane touch to the Wolfenstein IP, and we've been able to gather some learnings from one of the most talented studios in the world in the process. Now here's how the Buddy Pass works. When you pick up the Wolfenstein Young Blood Deluxe Edition, you'll get the Buddy Pass, meaning you can partner up with a friend even if that friend doesn't own the game. As long as that friend is playing with you, They'll be able to download and play Youngblood for free, all thanks to the Buddy Pass. The Buddy Pass can only be provided to one friend at a time, but it can be reused as many times as you want. Those playing using a friend's Buddy Pass can choose to upgrade to the full game and play on their own or with other players at any time. In addition to the Buddy Pass, the Deluxe Edition also gets you the Cyborg Skin Pack, a cosmetic design a cosmetic pack designed to give you that titanium terminator look. The cyborg skin pack includes the shiny new skin for the twins, power suits, guns, combat knives, and hatchets. As you can see, the suit to the left side looks fucking dope. The pre-order bonuses are as, are as follows. Pre-order Wolfenstein Young Blood Edition at $29.99. Deluxe Edition $39.99 and receive the Legacy Pack, a set of cosmetic items that include the following. The Wolfenstein 2, the New Colossus Jacket Power Suit, BJ's U.S. Army Power Suit, the Wolfenstein Old Blood Pipe, the Wolfenstein Old Blood Knife, a World War II weapon skin set for all range weapons. I love the fact that it's going to be $30. Which leads me to believe that the game will probably be ranging from about one hour to six hours, which is great. Now, if you never played Wolfenstein, The New Order, Old Blood, or The New Colossus, <clears throat> I highly, highly recommend you play those, especially if you love first person shooters or action games. They are the most incredible first person shooters I've ever played in my whole life. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like, subscribe and share the video. Post in the comments below if you're excited for this new Wolfenstein game. I'm out. Peace.